Cracking the learning code for social and political organizations. The dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present. The occasion is piled high with difficulty and we must rise to the occasion. As our case is new, so we must think anew and act anew. Abraham Lincoln. Hi, I'm J.W. Wilson, Executive Director of the Advanced Learning Institute and author of the book Cracking the Learning Code. I'm so glad you found us. Do you want to change the minds and actions of large numbers of people? If you do, then this formula, neurological plus genetic change equals behavior change, which we also saw in the video segment, Creating Behavioral Change in Mind Shifts, will be very important to you. Why? Because if you want to change the behaviors of or create mind shifts in your children, friends, employees, or large groups of people, what must you do? You must first create profound biological change within them. Understanding that genetic and neurological change create behavioral change is very important, especially for political and social organizations that desire to change the minds and actions of large groups of people. It feels like the 21st century is experiencing an extreme polarization of beliefs. Social and political organizations struggle mightily in their efforts to get people to change their minds and their behaviors with very little success. But once you understand what must happen in a person's brain and their body before he or she will change their point of view or their actions, the easier it is to design programs that will affect those changes. By effectively understanding how to turn on the learning code, social and political organizations can possess the power to profoundly impact large groups of people. We've often been asked, why do we make this information available to all social and political organizations without any restrictions? The reason is that to get people to effectively change their thought patterns and their behaviors, their meaning network, those networks that hold meaning for them, which are fully explained in the book Cracking the Learning Code, must first be turned on. Therefore, those who want to effectively and profoundly influence others must first spend a substantial amount of time and effort trying to understand those they want to change the most. In the end, this enhanced understanding of the other side leads to reduced levels of conflict. It's much harder for Serbs to hate Croats or Sunni to hate Shiite or any opposing group to hate another once each side begins to understand what the underlying issues are driving the other's aggressive actions and behaviors in the first place. I think you will find this information very interesting and enjoyable.